folder. I should see a folder that's going to be called uh, My Files. Inside of there, I should see my Create File. Okay, there's a there's my My Files. Inside there's Wood. There's my Wood Create. When I look down here, there's my Wood Create. So I just drag this over. Wood Create is officially in the engine. So well, let's go ahead and move my scale down to point one. And we can see how it looks so far. It's good. It's kind of bright, right? As if it's kind of glowing. We don't want that. So let's start editing this crate to look exactly how we want. Go ahead and give myself just a little more material room here. Okay, for starters. Your diffuse color, you can take your crate and kind of just start painting it whatever color you want almost. What's happening here is that if we went ahead and made it a solid white, it's just glowing. We can take it to black and it's not there. So this is almost kind of like a, I don't want to say opacity, but it's just saying how the editor is viewing it. We want to go ahead and hit it right about in the middle, which is going to be 128, 128, 128. There, it looks a lot better than what we had earlier. We got a specular channel in here, but we have nothing being outputted because it's set to black for our specular color. So we can go ahead and just bump that up a bit. And again, if we take it to white, it's you know a shiny, glossy floor. We don't want that. We just want to add just a little bit of a highlight here. All right, so we got that and. Look at your material here. You can see what happens as we go ahead and kind of tweak our glossy settings. Let's go ahead and tweak that just a bit. All right, that's good. Next, we're going to look at our. We went ahead and turned on in our shader parameters our detailed bump mapping. Okay, which gave us, which is this guy which gave us our extra shader parameters here that we can go ahead and work with. Immediately, I want to let's see detail button. Oh, let's go ahead and adjust the scale up. And nothing's, there we go. See it a lot better over here in this preview window. Right, that's good. Okay, so one reason you're not seeing it in the viewport right now is because we're set to very high. It's showing it on the texture map, but this is uh, one of those settings where if someone can't run their machine at ultra then this is something that's taken away. They, they won't be able to get this level of detail in the game. The second we set our game to Ultra, all right, we're going to set to Ultra. Let's see if we can go ahead and get that detail going. So I think you see it a little bit right in there. All right, so. Next, we're going to move over and we're going to use that uh, displacement map we set up before by doing uh, offset bump mapping. And we're also going to add our parallax displacement. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's see. Let's adjust these parameters just a bit. The shadow is giving itself shadow. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay. 
not. And our crate is really starting to come together here. Let's go ahead and save this. The last thing I want to do is like this crate maybe let's let's say it was painted. Like it was a different color. And this is gonna be kind of fun. Alright, let's go ahead and mess with it. I didn't plan on doing this, but let's see if we can have some fun with this. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and, and get your opacity channel set. With and let's see, I have uh, a map for that. You know, I can actually just use the specular map right here. So let's grab the entire map, go into our opacity channel, paste. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm going to turn on blend layers. Okay. What happened there is that it just went ahead and, well, let me, let me keep moving forward first. Now we've done that, let's figure out what we're going to blend between, and I think we can use, hmm, let's use this guy, our rough specular map. <coughs> Copy, and honestly first we have to bring you over here. Okay, and we're going to change that to our rough. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This grape just got all sorts of detail right away. What's happening here is that it's blending between those two maps to kind of give us one texture in total. So we adjust the scale, let's just drop this all the way down. You can actually see this come to life. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and basically just blend between the two. I'm going to take my fall off factor up and you see this is 100% or 128 is going to be my original texture map. Zero is the map I just applied. I'm going to put that right in the middle. 64. Now we're going to go ahead and start blending between it. This really detailed crate here because we're now just blending between the two materials. Given us, normally we had to open up Photoshop and do this type of detail here, but it looks really good. So it's just something else that we can play around with, and that was just by messing around with a few, you know, mapping channels. So I don't know. It's, it's just fun. I'm going to kill that. And notice that when I killed the opacity channel, there's no blend happening here. The opacity channel was giving us um, the, the high and low values to actually make that happen. So, all right. So, that's it. Just imported our object, and we were good. Have a good day.